Got my teepee. I got my trowel. I literally woke up two minutes ago. I need to shit immediately. That's not fucking normal, is it? God damn it. I'm just gonna have to get up in the middle of fucking night to shit. Ugh. Now where do I shit at? These are the real life dis choices and problems I'm faced with on a daily basis out here. The struggle is real. <laughs> Mosquitoes are bad around here, man. Shit. It's only downside of warming up. Fucking summertime and all that shit. Goddamn fucking mosquitoes everywhere. This is a killer camp spot, but goddamn, I got eaten alive last night. I built a fire. Helped a little bit, but maybe I should build one this morning. I'm in no fucking hurry to get out of here. Check out gut hooks. I only got fucking 18 and a half to Damascus. I'm gonna break that shit up in two days, so. The next shelter is. The next shelter is Abington, Abington Shelter. It's only eight and a half miles in here, so. <laughs> eight and a half mile day today. It's gonna be fucking brutal, man. Shit. Dear, I'm fucking gonna be scratching my crap. I'm really good. God, I probably look like a fucking crackhead right now. <laughs> What's that uh, character on the Dave Chappelle show where he's a fucking crackhead and he's always itching? Oh, man. You got chocolate on the face. That's doo doo, baby. Anyway, we'll get moving here shortly. It's gonna be a good fucking day. So, before all the uh, dick jokes and ball jokes and vulgarity begins for the day, <laughs> I want to touch on something a little more serious as I head out on the trail today. Ever since I started the trail, more so in the last few weeks, I have gotten multiple messages from people that say that in some way or another, my videos have helped them through bullshit times in their life or are currently helping them through some bullshit times in their life and I don't want to give any specifics because you know respect to these people but for, especially on the addiction side and the alcohol side and uh, sobriety and all that shit I, I, I don't know what to say it's it's something that I wasn't expecting I mean in my head all I'm doing is fucking walking every day but somehow some way my fucking walking in the Appalachian Trail has touched a nerve with somebody and some people and inspired them to turn their lives around the same way I turned my own life around with backpacking. And that is something that is beyond fucking words for me. I mean, I didn't have that shit when I got sober. Um, I pretty much did everything on my own. Uh, I've been by myself for as long as I can fucking remember. I didn't have any... I haven't had any support through my sobriety and shit like that. There are people that, you know, encourage me and stuff, but I did that shit on my own. Uh, and generally speaking, I'm not speaking for anybody else here, but I know for myself, I was the only one that could make myself quit drinking. Nobody else in this fucking world. All my life, I've had multiple people close to me and not close to me tell me I needed to stop drinking. I don't want to fucking hear that shit. It took me looking in the fucking mirror and telling my goddamn self, look motherfucker, if you don't stop this shit, you're gonna fucking die. Bottom fucking line. So with my case, I, I use straight up willpower. And I think that's why I'm hard as fucking nails today, to this day, because shit like this climbing up mountains is nothing for me. Yeah, physically it's painful, Mentally, it can be tough sometimes, but compared to what I've fucking gone through in my life, this trail's nothing. So, I, I'm just, I don't know where I was going with that, but what I'm saying is, 
it just means a lot to me that my little fucking walk across the Appalachian Trail is, is touching a lot of people out there that was completely unexpected to me. So, for all you fuckers out there that are turning your lives around, whether it's because of me or it's because you took a long fucking look in the mirror, pat your goddamn self on the back because I know more than anybody that shit is the hardest fucking thing you will ever do in your goddamn life. So, my hat's off to all you fuckers. It's fucking awesome. <sighs> It's gonna be a good fucking day. Ah, surprise, surprise, I'm fucking hungry right, right again. God damn, I need that Mountain Harbor or all you can eat breakfast every fucking morning. <laughs> I'm coming up on Low Gap here in about half a mile or so. I'll stop there and have me a Pop Tart. Drew them myself because I'm already like three fucking miles in and I'm only doing eight and a half today, so I'm trying to slow it down, man. Shit. <coughs> <coughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> I, mean, I know that fucker was lazy as shit because he made that shit at home. He says, I ain't hauling a fucking paintbrush out in the goddamn woods. He made that fucker at home haul that piece of wood out here. <laughs> uh, that's funny shit, man. All right, fuck low gap. This camp spot's good enough. I'm gonna have my fucking pops out here. Somebody made a fucking, there's some bushcraft motherfucker out here. Yeah, anyway. Let's get my fucking pop tire down, man. Shit. Alright, coming down here a little gap. Looks like there's some remnants of some freak shit. Let's see if they got anything left. Ah, uh, shit balls. Fur of the Great Wall of China. This is the half ass wall of Tennessee. I don't know what the fuck they're trying to do there. That looks like fucking garbage, man. Shit, it's fucking dumb. All right, just taking a little break here, grabbing some water and shit. Just got, uh, had to make a phone call to Amazon or the post office in Damascus because I got an email from Amazon saying they had a problem delivering my fucking camera and shit, but called the post office. Apparently, it was delivered to Mount Rogers Outfitters there in town, so I have to go in there anyway. Um, so, hell yeah, camera's going to be there today. Oh, it's actually there right now, so I can pick it up tomorrow, charge that bitch up, and I'll be rolling on the good camera, hopefully, from now on, and hopefully not break that one. And I was checking some mail and, and, and Instagram messages and all that shit, and I got a message from Kendra over at Hyperlight Mountain Gear um, saying she wanted to meet up and at Trail Day. So that's, I'm pretty fucking stoked for that. It's pretty cool when a company where you rock their fucking pack uh, reaches out to you, <clears throat> says they want to talk. So um, that's, that's, uh, that's fucking awesome. I love this. I mean, this fucking pack is kicking ass on this trail, and I want to get one of their fucking pod, pod sacks they make. They're, they're, they're stuff sacks, but they're shaped just like the mount, the Hyperlite packs because my duplex uh, stuff sack that it came in, it's shredded, um, which is understandable because, you know, I use it every fucking day, and, and the material they use, the, the Cuban fiber they use for their stuff sacks is like all the leftover shit, so it's not really durable. The pod sacks that Hyperlite uh, sells is really durable material, so I want to get one of those for my tent because I, I stick my tent on top usually, and it doesn't always fill out the gaps. You can see a little crease right there, so I think if I get that pod sack for my tent, it'll fill out the gap better in my pack and uh, be more uniform, more comfortable, so hell yeah. Ugh, fucking bugs. God damn. <laughs> just realized what this day reminds me of. Then you go to the fucking amusement park, car rides, whatever the fuck when you're a kid. And they got the cool badass roller coasters they have to wait in line like four hours for and the goddamn scorching heat burn your shit up. But it's worth it. The wait is worth it. And then you got the ghetto fucking roller coasters that they've had at the park for like 20 years. And they just don't want to fucking get rid of them. But they're the chintzy fucking roller coasters that just go 
and you, can, you don't have to wait in line, but it's fucking not worth it. Because you don't even get you don't get any fucking adrenaline rush off of it. That's what this goddamn trail, the stretch of trail is today. And she goes up, down, up, down, up, down, but there's no fucking views. I mean, this is my fucking view, right? Little John Z. Here's my view. Anyway, it's just there's nothing to look at. You, you get to these top of these little fucking rolling hills and it's just completely covered. Occasionally you can see through the trees and you know the views over there is kick ass, but it's so goddamn overgrown you can't see shit. So that's what today reminds me of. Ghetto fucking roller coaster rides that need to be tore the fuck down. Yeah, still a nice walk though. All right, motherfuckers, so we are at Abington Gap Shelter. There's a bunch of people that I camped with last night, so they were coming to stay here tonight, but they might have pushed on to Damascus. Who the fuck knows? Because they are not here. It's like 1.30, eight and a half miles today. What are you going to fucking do? But that'll leave a decent 10-mile day into Damascus tomorrow. That's the plan. So but as of now, I got this whole fucking place to myself. Got a kick-ass fire going. Belly is full. Food is hung. And all I gotta do is fucking relax. Well, I gotta edit this fucking video. You know, all vlogging thing. Anyway, we'll see you motherfuckers in Damascus. All my bones are dislocated. I just keep on wandering along.